I wanted to give you guys a look at what I'm building and some videos that I'm going to be making in the future. Um, I'm, I've been talking in a few of the videos, if you've been watching, uh, this store that I'm going to make, a JavaScript store. It has a little bit of PHP, but it's completely Ajax driven. Um, basically, the idea is uh, this is my homepage. And what I use, basically, this store is you just paste a piece of JavaScript code and you're done. As in, if you need to sell something, all you have to do is have a PayPal account and paste this code in, and you can sell it. No database setup, no installing a bunch of scripts, no etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All you need to do is paste this code. So basically, um, here's here's how it works now. Uh, I still have a lot to iron out. I mean, it's not even close to being done. I'm just showing you what I got. Basically, this is the code. So you put one of these for every item you want to sell. So say I want to sell another item, put this again. Okay? That this is just the JavaScript. So it's it's pretty straightforward here how this works. Um, the user sets these four parameters, the name, the price, the description, and an image, a single image. Okay? I might do it later where you have an array of images, etc. But that's that for now. So you set the variables. Then all this is just neatly written so it's easy to read, but basically there's a link with an image in it and an on click that calls a function that I have. Okay, um, let me show you the final result, and then I'll get into it. Basically, okay, so here's my my button that I've made. Okay, so here's an, an item I want to sell. I don't have anything next to it, whatever. So I, this button, I paste this code next to an item I want to sell. So I click it, and then my store comes up. Okay, so here's the shopping cart that I've made. Um, basically, it's got your shopping cart or whatever you wanted to say, and the total price. It will add up the total price. Now. It doesn't work yet. Obviously, this is all sample stuff, but that item that I clicked on will be added using PHP. Everything is stored in a session. Everything. So every new item you get will be stored in a session as well. So this this is supposedly pulls from from the session all the current cart items. Okay. Right now it's just dummy text. Basically, you can see it's just uh, you know an image, a name, price, quantity, description. I've got an alternating CSS table background. You could change these here, and when you lose focus, it calls a function that updates it. So this price will update on screen. You know, um, I've got this uh, this centered so that when I move the browser around, it stays centered. Okay, and then I've got this effect that when you hover over an image, it covers up the description side with the image. So obviously they're all the same image right now, but I'm selling a mo half of a computer monitor, um, and the image comes up over here. So you can see how that works. And then in a minute, I'm going to add this where I hover over this, and then this whole section changes to show you the full description over here. So that's kind of that. Basically, here's the inner workings of it now, and I'll go through this a lot more in depth as I find some cooler things to work with. But the this is just the CSS for that. Uh, pretty straightforward. The JavaScript file behind the scenes, it's just this function right now, the, the add to cart function. All it does is, is it creates the overlay div, creates the uh, clicking the overlay, overlay will make it go away, just like I've always done. Create the content div, add them both to the content, fade them in. So this is all, this is all for fading in that top section. Then I use jQuery and Ajax to call a PHP function. So there is one, there's hopefully only going to be one PHP file, but that basically will will process the current order that the, the current button you just did. It'll process that and get the new data and send that back. Then um, this is just the action for that hovering of the image. Okay. And then uh, this just fades it out. So that's just that's all that is. The PHP file uh, doesn't have much in it now because again it's all sample. So this is all sample data um, right now. It'll grab it from the session later. I trim the description to 140 characters and I trim the title or the name of the product to 32 characters and then I just echo a table um, that's that's all it is right now and you can see it's looking pretty nice and and hopefully it'll be really nice to work with but there's gonna be a lot of challenges coming up including I'm gonna be programming the PayPal API in here for processing credit cards so when we get to that I'll show you uh, if you're wondering how I did the alternating backgrounds um, it's this code right here I think it's a CSS3 only but basically it's uh, it grabs the item the nth child even turns it a color and the nth child odd 
and it gives it a color. So you can kind of see where this is going, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what, so you can see a lot of different tutorials. And if you want to ask some questions about how I did certain parts of this that you didn't see just now, uh, let me know and I'll get into deeper in that. But I think mostly what I'm going to show you is the PayPal API and then working with the sessions in this store tutorial.